Hello, how are you today? Hi, hi. Good afternoon. Good evening. Yo, good afternoon, I'm Good evening. Hello, good evening. <laughs> how are good you evening, today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Vamos a ver. Let's check attendance before we start. Marvin se cayó. Marvin se cayó. Como era algo, Marvin. Marvin se cayó como tenía la Marvin. Marvin se cayó como tenía la Marvin. Vaya, please remember to write your name, complete the two names, the two last names, Zulma Ramírez, Fernando Acosta, Donay Mejía, Adolfo Barrios. Write your complete names. Tomorrow is day off, you know, right? You will be uh, sleeping at this time. Okay, Adolfo Rivas. Adolfo, present. Present. Adriana Maria. Present. Adriana María, Adriana Sofía, Adriana Sofía, Ana, Ana Ana, Brenda Alexandra, Claudia Guadalupe, present teacher, I go in the traffic teacher. Okay, Claudia. Bruce Antonio. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Jose Alberto. Jose Alfredo. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. No. Teacher. Dígame. Today I am going to be listening because I have to work. Okay, Carlita. Kevin Adonai. Kevin, Kevin. Present means. Mauricio Emilio. Mauricio. Nubia Zulema. Pedro Luis. Pedro. Present teacher. Saúl Eduardo. Saúl Edgardo. Sulma Yanet. Present teacher. Victor. Victor, Victor. Present teacher. Fernando Enrique. Present. Rosa Hilda. 
Rosy. Let me see. Oh, I have only 13. Adonai, agréguese, por favor, nombre completo. Adolfo también. Recuerden que siempre tienen que entrar con, los, con el nombre completo. Adonai ya sabe dónde cambiar el nombre. I, I didn't yesterday. Uh, no, no, I don't no know how to. Vaya. Eh... A la, par, okay. a la par de donde, vaya, ubique, Sorry. ubíquese Adonai y Adolfo, ubíquense donde está acá en los iconos que les aparecen en la parte de abajo, o no sé si les aparecen arriba, yo creo que abajo aparecen, ¿verdad? Donde dice participantes, dele clic allí. Cuando vea todos los nombres hacia un lado, Dele clic a la par de su nombre le van a aparecer tres puntitos. Le da clic a esos tres puntitos y ahí le va a dar opciones de varias cosas, entre ellas cambiar nombre. Le da clic en cambiar nombre y ahí ya puede ponerse el nombre. Ok, I did. I did. Perfecto. Vamos a ver, Adonai. Adonai, are you here? Kevin Adonai, muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Es por cuestiones de asistencia. La asistencia cuando la recoge en inglés corporativo para ellos es más fácil y más certero encontrar su nombre tal cual está en la lista, ¿verdad? Así es que allí siempre asegúrense de entrar con nombre completo. Eh, tengo una pregunta. Ya, este, quiero saber quiénes de los que son nuevos conmigo, ustedes es primera vez o ya habían estado antes con inglés corporativo. Sí, estamos nuevos o no. Yo. Pregunte por, eh, quiero asegurarme con la cuestión de la plataforma. Chequen que ya me lograron entrar a la plataforma. Ustedes recibieron un correo electrónico donde les iban todas sus credenciales y entre ellos iba el link para poder accesar a la plataforma. Entonces, asegúrense que ya entraron a la plataforma, ¿verdad? Porque ya desde ayer ya tenemos la primera tarea. Entonces, asegúrense que ustedes eh, logran entrar a la plataforma porque si no logran entrar, hay que darles este seguimiento, ¿verdad? Entonces, para eso, nos comunicamos con el equipo técnico para que les dé seguimiento. Pero sí es bien importante que ustedes intenten entrar por, el, por las credenciales, ¿verdad? Que le dieron su nombre completo, su correo electrónico que usted ha, ha provisto en inglés corporativo. Entrar a la plataforma, porque a mí ya me aparece en que que están, pero lo que yo quiero saber es si ya la activaron, ¿verdad? Si ya ustedes ya están eh, trabajando en la plataforma de aprendizaje, si ya están listos ahí. Uh -huh. pues, eh, en mi caso, yo soy nuevo, sí, es la primera vez que estoy en este curso, uh -huh. y sí, accesé ahora en la mañana. Y estuve tratando de ir haciendo y avanzando la, las tareas y todo eso. Sí me dio problema el, el, el detalle que un compañero compartió en el grupo de WhatsApp. También el mismo, mismo problema me dio a mí. Ah, perfecto. Ya vamos a ver ese ejercicio. Muy bien. Vaya, todavía veo gente que no ha entrado a la plataforma a trabajar la tarea número uno. Eso es mi primer indicio de ver si no tienen problemas, si ya lograron accesar y todo eso. Pero vamos a ver. David ya entró. Fernando también. José Alfredo. Uh -huh. Carla. Eh. Pedro Luis Rossi. Se chequen, Saúl Edgardo, Zulma, son los que ya entraron a la plataforma. Entonces, dígame. Tengo una pregunta, este, pero ayer solo teníamos que haber hecho... El... La tarea 1, sí. Ah, ok, 1.1, ¿verdad? 
Exacto. No ah, hay... es que veo la U, que aquí mandaron, pero del 1.7. Sí, no hay problema con que ustedes ah, okay. cante. Oye, okay. no hay problema. Vamos a ver eh, cuál es el 1.7 y cuál es el problema que me muestra. Vamos a ver. Ah. Eh, teacher, dígame. Es la, la pregunta número dos, donde se tiene que ordenar, eh, formar una oración con las palabras que ahí muestran. Okay, perfecto. Vamos a esperar a que me cargue. One point seven. Number two. Number two. Yes. Okay. Ya no sé Siempre asegurándose de ponerle punto. Ok. Eh, dejemos micrófono, por favor. Thank you. Check. Okay. Si tienen sonidos de, de algo alrededor, de sus micrófonos cerraditos. Adolfo, me vuelve a aparecer con el nombre incompleto, fíjese. Va, chequen. Eh, la situación, no sé cómo es que lo han estado poniendo usted, pero aquí estamos hablando de un future passive. The shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. Chequen si están deletreando received correctly, si no están omitiendo ninguna letra, si pusieron eh, capital letter at the beginning. Estas oraciones, ninguna tiene punto. Entonces, eh, chequen eso. Porque nosotros eh, siempre les ponemos punto, ¿verdad? pero estas no tienen ninguna lleva punto. Uh -huh. Asegúrense que no se les quedan palabras juntas tampoco, porque si una palabra les queda junta, ya no se la va a tomar. Pero qué raro. ¿Solamente el número dos no se los acepta o no les acepta ninguna? Solo el número dos eh, es la que da problema. Lo demás, todo bien. Uh -huh. Vamos a hacer una comparación aquí. Que a veces. 
con una palabrita, una letra que se ponga diferente. Bien raro, está exactamente igual y no la acepta. The shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. Aquí sí no podría decirles qué pasa. Estoy ex escribiéndolo exactamente igual y como que lo tomara malo solamente por el tipo de letra. Es que exactamente yo lo mismo me pasó. O sea, yo puse la respuesta así como usted acaba de decir y le di vuelta a la... Alguna, a, al, al sentido, pues, yo me he equivocado, pero nada que ver, no lo, no lo agarra, pues, y, y, lo, lo, y lo escribí pegar. tal cual. Sí, se lo voy a pegar ahí en el chat. Piense que no lleva punto para decir que es porque no le pusimos punto, que no la reconoce, no lleva punto. Eh, a veces sucede con las que llevan apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Que dan problemas, pero también lleva apóstrofe. Lo único que tiene un, 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 un tipo de letra diferente. Entonces, va, díganme ustedes si soy yo la que ya no me voy a compartir. Dicho. <risa> Donde hice yo mi, compar mi comparison. Chequen. Va, denme un segundo, Mauricio. Va, vean ¿Qué, qué le vende diferente entre la primera oración y la segunda. Vamos a ver. ¿Algún spelling? No, ¿verdad? Eh, yo creo que error en la plataforma, eh, teacher. No, pero, pero eh, fíjense que es solamente el cuestión del, del tipo de letra, que es diferente. Esta eh, es... Y este es yo, un... Yo veo dos espacios después de as on as the payment. Entre el uh -huh. último as y bueno. the payment, yo veo dos espacios. Vamos a ver. Sí, porque es súper es delicado. Con su... Si ese es el caso. Uy. No, pues me la sigue poniendo mala. The shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. No, me la sigue poniendo mal. The shipment. Vale, voy a probar copiarla de aquí. To paste it. Vale, lo voy a señalar porque, porque ajá, bien extraño. Porque justo es. It doesn't el... work anyway. No, it doesn't work. But it's like. Um, I'm writing exactly the answer that, that is the one that they say. And it does not accept any correct answer. I'm going to report it. Let It's possible without that shipment, It's only shipment. No, but I'm, I'm writing it exactly the way they suggest that it should be. And no, not even like that, it doesn't affect me. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. 
Thank you. Es el ejercicio 1.5. Bye. I'm reporting it so they can see what happens. ¿Verdad? And they let us know. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, uh, no sé, porque como le repito, yo soy nuevo y no sé si la plataforma así es, pero el video que me aparece después de cada ejercicio que hay que resolver uh -huh. es el mismo video y es un video sobre una presentación de personas. No sé si así es la cosa que tiene que repetirse el mismo video o es sí. que el video no está actualizado, no lo sé. No, no. Acuérdese que, vaya, eh, le voy a compartir acá. Quiero ver. Cuando. Cuando ustedes vienen. Ahorita nosotros solamente hemos tenido una clase. Entonces la única videoconferencia que les aparece es la videoconferencia 1. Tienen la tarea número uno basado en esa videoconferencia. Hoy, por la noche, eh, yo subo el video de la videoconferencia número dos. Entonces, ya para mañana que usted revise, ya usted le va a aparecer acá la videoconferencia número dos. Ahorita no, siempre le va a aparecer esta videoconferencia, siempre. Porque como no ha pasado la clase todavía, entonces, eh, la clase de hoy es, yeah. ¿verdad? Me he pasado el 3 que tengamos la clase, ya para el 4 ya le va a aparecer la clase del 3 y así sucesivamente, ¿verdad? Hasta que lleguemos al, al final. Va a chequen, we have video okay. conference 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then... Seven. Mm -hmm. One point seven. Exactly. And then video conference number five. And with the assignment in number, okay? One point nine. And next. Next. No quiere avanzar this. Que no. Someday, huh? It's charging. Too many things open. But let's see. So here we go for unit number two, but for video conference number six, right? So the thing is that by class number five, you should be finishing the, the first one, video conference number five. But the assignment that you have there is 1.9, right? And then in unit two, this is what I was commenting to you. You have two videos, one assignment. Two videos, one assignment, and so on. Okay, so, but remember that at the end, by unit 15, we will be right in the middle of the course, right? By the time that we get to a class number 15, that means we have been. We have finished unit one, unit two, and the midterm. Yes? Okay. Well, we are ready to go. November. November this, November 1st, verdad? Tomorrow, remember, no classes. No classes tomorrow. I'm going to share the presentation. If you have any questions about the platform, don't doubt on telling you, right? Because it is very important that we go checking if something is happening there. Okay, check. What is the objective for today? Well, we're going to be talking about expressions of certainty. What are expressions of certainty? That's what we're going to talk. And 
the, the objective is to explain the stages of the distribution channel. Remember yesterday we were talking about the distribution channels and today we are going to be talking about the stages that we have for that distribution channel. I want you to refresh your mind here. Uh, let's see how you matched that. Mm -hmm. How do you make that matching? Do you remember? Uh, yes. Number three is with Taylor. Okay. Number one is wholesaler. I, I remember that. <laughs> okay. You said number number one is what number wholesaler. An intermediary and wholesaler. Okay. An intermediary entity in the distribution channel that buys in bulk and sells to retailers. Uh -huh, exactly. That's the wholesaler. An agent who supplies goods to stores and other businesses that sell to cost to consumers. Distributor. 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 Okay. Distributor. A person or business that sells goods to the public in small quantities for use. Mm -hmm. A retailer. Okay. Yeah. A professional who provides expert advice in a particular area such as distribution logistics. Consultant. 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 Yes. Okay. And the last one, an individual agency or company that sells a manufacturer's mm -hmm. products to wholesale and retail customers. Five to five. Mm -hmm. That's manufacturer's representatives. Any questions over there? No question for me. Thanks. Nice, nice. Hmm. Now, what are distribution channels? Who can tell me? What are distribution channels? What do they include? Um, wholesaler, retailer, distributor. Mm -hmm. um, the wholesalers. Who are the wholesalers? Tell me in your own word. Huh? Um, she buy and sell, she buys a bulk and and sells. Mm -hmm. Distributor. What are distributors? Yeah. What are distributors? Distributors. Mm -hmm. uh, the person that supplies to the stores. Okay, great. Who are retailers? Huh? Who are the retailers? In your own words, because in the previous you saw the definition, right? Who are the retailers? A person or business room um, that sells some, some goods uh, to the general public. Uh -huh, exactly. Uh, and in a small quantity, usually. Okay, and the internet, right? Okay. Oh, okay. In a direct distribution channel, the manufacturer sells directly to the consumer. 
right? The manufacturer sells directly to the consumer. Indirect channels involve multiple intermediaries before the product ends up in the hands of the consumer. And remember, when we talk about the intermediaries, we mentioned yesterday a couple of things. Do you remember what we mentioned? What are some examples of intermediaries? Uber Eats. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Another one. What else? Pedido ya. Pedido ya. Ajá. Uh -huh. What else? Hugo. Hmm? Hugo. Okay. What else? The stores, the supermarkets, right? Sometimes even the restaurants can be intermediaries because they are selling somebody else's product, not their own product, right? And remember that the intermediaries are all those uh, say distributors of the product that the people, right, stores or whatever, that make the product get to the consumer. The gas stations. Gas stations, uh -huh, exactly. They act as intermediaries because they are selling uh, the product to, well, different products, right? To people. Okay, bye. What is a direct channel? Mm -hmm. What's a direct channel? Check the example. We have some direct, example. Direct channel. Uh-huh. Um, what else? What is a direct channel? The door. And the way that the company sells their product directly to the customer. Exactly. The person who makes the product sells it directly to the consumer, right? Some examples of direct channels are selling at manufacturer's plant, plant, door-to-door -door sales, sales by mail order method, or sales by order, not necessarily by mail, but by WhatsApp now. <laughs> People buy yeah. it, right, on the red, on the website. It sells by opening own shops. So I make my product, I open my own shop and I sell my product there in that shop. And then you have okay. a marketing channel. What is an indirect marketing channel? Mm -hmm. What's when you need a when you need a distributor. Exactly. When you need the help of somebody else, right? And then we yeah, have to to offer the product to the consumer. Mm -hmm. Because I cannot do it, right? I have no time. I don't have experience. Um, I just make the product, but I don't know what to do with it. So at the end, the, the producer is in another another area, country, whatever. Could be, yeah, definitely. Now check some examples. One level channel, two level channel, three level channel, four level channel, a hybrid distribution channel or multi-channel distribution system. What is a one-level channel? Who can tell me? Mm -hmm. um, for example, uh, in online, uh, bookstore online. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, imagine one level channel will be, okay, I have the producer is this one. And I okay. take a retailer. This is the retailer, this is the producer. The producer sells the product directly to this retailer. And this retailer takes the product directly to the person, right? To, to the consumer. That's a one level channel. 
What is a two level channel? Uh -huh. What do you think? The distributor. The distributor, what? Yep. What? What, what, what else? What is the distribution? Uh, for, uh -huh. for example, uh, some, some, some good for, for cooking. I think so. Uh, we can import from Mexico, from Guatemala uh, to the distributor and, and they need to, to retailers to, to get the product. Uh -huh, exactly. When we have a, a, a two level channel, we have the more people involved, not just one, not just the retailer, like in the one level channel. Here, the intermediaries involved are wholesalers and retailers. So I have two things here. Yeah. So I have distributors, but I have also retailers. Well, I have wholesalers and I have retailers. And the producer sells the product to the wholesalers in a big quantity, right? When we say in a bulk quantity. And this one sells it to the retailer, but then he, the retailer is going to sell it in a small quantity. What about the three level channel? Mm -hmm. What is a three level channel? What do you think? Three level um, channel? Mm. Yes. For me, include the producer, then who, who wholesaler, then um, distributor. Uh -huh. Exactly. They include the wholesalers, the retailers, and direct to consumers, right? So the wholesalers are intermediary businesses that purchase bulk quantities of the product from the manufacturer, and then they resell it to the retailers in some occasions, right? But then they is take them to the, to the consumers. But this is like not just one, one, that's one, two, three. So it is getting longer. So here we include wholesalers, retailers and direct to consumer sales, like the stores, for example, we can say, right? We can include here some other uh, aspects. What is the other one? Vamos a ver. No idea. And then you have a four level channel. What do you think is the four level channel? It will include more still more people, right? Mm -hmm. I include uh, walls, wholesaler, retailers, uh -huh. distribu distribu distributor. Yeah. And maybe... Mm -hmm. So every time we are including, including more and more people in that business, right, of the retailer. So check. At the beginning, we have only, vamos a ver, manufacturer, the retailer. That's it. One level channel is ideal for manufacturers of furniture, right? For manufacturers of clothing, or toys because they produce, uh, for example, imagine if I make clothes, but then I have a person who goes and sells that clothes somewhere else. But she goes, let's say that she goes to the market, right? She stands up in a corner 
and she sells the product to everybody who's passing. I have one one, yeah. But then I go to the two level channel. I have some intermediaries like the wholesalers and the retailers. So I have the producer sell the product to the wholesalers and the wholesalers sell, sell the product to the retailers, yeah. And the retailers are the ones that take it to the consumers. And in this one, we had uh, wholesalers, retailers, and direct to consumer sales. So the wholesalers are intermediary business that purchase, again, right, the big quantity. And then they resell them to either retailers or to the end consumers themselves. For example, like when you go to okay. mm, Ima Casa. Okay. Ima Casa. Yes. Uh, what is it? Uh, it's a factory that made tools. Okay. And they say they sell to the to the wholesaler and if you want to buy a tool you can go to the factory and you ask ask for it okay so you can use another uh, person right to go buy it and sell it to you or you can go directly to the place to get it yeah okay so which channel would you prefer? Which channel do you think is the best for you? Which of this one? Or would you prefer a hybrid? What is a hybrid channel? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Let's see the next one. One that makes the best things or all of this exactly a hybrid is a combination right in a i need a pen a hybrid is a combination you need a, you can use direct and indirect channels we already know which are the direct and we are, which are the indirect they often involve a distributor that the producer partners when we say uh, the producer partners, it's like, okay, I am the producer, but there is a person who helps me distribute my product. It doesn't matter where. So I say, Baya, uh, I cannot use my, my name that I use an example here, Pedro. So sorry, if sometime you listen to Pedro, that's the name that I always use as an example. Okay. So the, the, distributes, the distributor is a person who is always helping the producer. So partners, the producer, right? So the producer is not alone. It's the producer. And this is the distributor partner, the distributor, right? Who's always partnering the producer. Then what does he do? The produce, uh, they often involve a distributor that the producer partners with to get their goods to the masses. So I have the goods are like whatever I do, it can be a toy, it can be clothes, can be okay, any product, right? That the producer makes. And the purpose is that this person, this person, the distributor, Get the goods to the people. How? He can do whatever he wants because he can do this channel, direct channel, or he can use indirect channel, right? And this option allows the manufacturer to enjoy more control over the process. And he is free of all the logistics. He doesn't have to worry about the logistics. 
So he produces and he sells, uh, he tells the distributor by, okay, here's the product. So you do as you wish, you decide how you want to distribute it. So you can take it to a store retailer, you can give it to a retailer to sell it, you can sell it to another distributor in big quantity. So you decide what, whatever you do, right? Whatever you want to do. Mm. I have some control because I'm watching just one point, just the distributor. So he is watching only one person. He's just working with one person, this one. And this distributor is the one that has all the responsibility with the product, right? And the manufacturer has checking control over the process. And at the same time, he's not worried about the logistics, right? What are all those responsibilities of moving the product from one place to the other? He doesn't have to worry about that because the one who's going to do it is the distributor. Okay, now check here. When uh, we're talking about channels, I want you to look at this chart because this is the one that you're going to be using for working and for your presentation. Check, we have an example. We say the producer, directly to the consumer, right? And then we have another channel, the retail channel, the producer sell it to the retailer and the retailer sells the product to the consumer. And then we have another channel, right? When we have the wholesale channel, here we have the producer that takes the product to the wholesale or distributor, as we were mentioning before in the hybrid channel, right? And then this wholesale or distributor sells the product to, re to the retailer and the retailer sells it to the consumer. What you're going to do right now as a group, you're going to go to real businesses, right? Think about a real business or a fake one as you prefer. And then you're going to prepare a mini, right? Not a big presentation about a fake or real distribution channel for consumers. So what is that distribution channel? You can include a direct channel, retail channel, or a wholesale channel. I would prefer that you go for something more, more complicated, right? Not just the first one, but anyway, you're going to give me examples, two examples, one fake and one real distribution channel. So that means that one invented and the other one, one that really exists. And especially if you get to know, right, how, that distribution is made for making the product and getting that product to the consumer. I don't know if, if it is clear for you. Mm -hmm. Questions? Yeah. Think about this. We, we about can, this. we can, we have to choose one product. Yes and present okay. the distribution channel for that product, yeah? If you think that the product that okay. you have chosen takes this direct channel, a retail channel, or a wholesale channel, which is the distribution, and which are all the steps that, uh, that the product takes, okay? So you make a presentation and then you will be ready to share. Vamos a ver. We are 17. That is in the, in, the, in the manual so you can see 
the 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 chart in the manual. Let me see. You are 16. Oh well, 16. I'm going to make groups of four so you have enough people to work. Adolfo, Claudia, Carla, and Pedro, Anna, Alicia, hi, Anna, Cruz, Fernando, Mauricio, and the other one, David, Jose, Arnoldo, Saul, and Sun. Oh, and group number four. Nubia, póngase el nombre completo, por Adriana, Sofía, Kevin, Adonai, Nubia, and Victor. Pacha. Okay. Todos estamos mixtos, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Nice. Bye. I'm going to call attendance before we leave because it's 10 to 9. So later on, we will be here too late for the attendance. Let's see Adolfo Rivas. Present, Adolfo. Adolfo, hello. Present. Okay, thank you. Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria. No here. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Ana. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, Brenda Alexandra. Brenda, 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 no. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia. Teacher, present teacher, I'm going in traffic, sorry. Okay, but tell me present, right? Okay, Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. David, David. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer. Mm -hmm. José Alberto. José Alberto. No. No está José Alberto ahora. Ok, José Alfredo. José Alfredo, hello. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Kevin. Kevin, Kevin. Present Miss. Mauricio Emilio. Present teacher. Okay. Nubia. Present teacher. Nice, Nubia. Pedro. Present teacher. Paul Edgardo. Present. Sulma. Present. Okay. Victor. 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 Nota. Fernando Enrique. Present. Rosa Hilda. Rosy. No está Rosy. Pacha. Okay. Well, you know what to do. Let's go uh, make a mini presentation, right? So elaborate something that you will share with your partners when we come back from the mini groups. There we go. Teacher, so sorry. Uh, someone of the class, Victor Argueta, said present, but the the internet uh, lo sacó. Oh. Uh -huh, but he's not here. Hi. Mm -hmm. Oh, sí, ya lo vi. Bye. Join, join. Teacher. Hola, Víctor. Cuando me pasó la asistencia se me desconectó, pero aquí estaba. <risa> Vaya, Víctor, ya lo mando al grupo número 
cuatro. Okay. Cheque si le aparece la invitation. Uh -huh. Join, 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 Nubia, Nubia, Carla, Carlita, join, join, Nubia, Nubia, hello, join, And just in charge, okay? Okay, let me check. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you like the, the fake or real distribution? Hello? Can you hear me? Hola, hola, perdón. Can you hear me? Y yes. We are the, the we are the fake or real distribution for the customers. Um, We have to do both, I suppose, but uh, hello? Yes. Okay, we have to do both or just one. Let's see how we get with the time with one. If we have enough time, we can make both. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what do you think? Uh, if you know about one real, we can do the real. Okay. Uh, what we are going to do select. Uh, maybe we can talk about, or we can present something uh, such as a retailer, uh, okay. for example, something as Siman, I suppose. Okay. If I don't write correctly, please tell me. Okay, don't worry. Okay, retailer is that? Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, so is Siman. But who is the distributor? Because if you remember, we begin with the distributor, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Uh -huh. Whatever you have, you, well, the distributor, no, the producer. Who's, it, it doesn't, uh, okay. doesn't matter if you use, if you take the direct channel, the retail channel, or the wholesale channel, but we begin with the producer. Okay. And then we go to the. Um, okay. What product uh, can we choose? Like clothes or uh, maybe gems or other that you know about the process? Uh, two, about the two tasks of uh, fake, the fake one and the real one. 
the fake one that I in, uh, say is the candy that I make, right? And the real one, uh, it could be the my job that I say uh, a time uh, a while a time ago. I don't know. So teacher, we need to do a presentation, right? Yeah. Talking about the better way that we think mm -hmm. is the better way to solve the problem if it's deadly or uh, um, indirectly way. Uh -huh, but think of a product. So you have to choose a product and present. We choose, we uh -huh. choose a candy. Which one? Candies. Candies? Yes. Okay. What type of candies? Jose Artisanal. Artisan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, like, like what? But how I say that? Artisanal. Handmade. Handmade candy. Handmade candies. Okay. Like, I don't know, or conservas or something like that. Fernando mm -hmm. oh, sure. told us that, that the way that he decided to, to sell his product that were candies, he said that he knock knock on the door. He's going to knock knock on the door and sell it. Retailer. Retailer. Mm -hmm. Or oh, 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 uh -huh, like a retailer. For example, Ochata. I remember once I went to an interview where they were asking for young people, right? That they said nothing about the, the what the job was going to be about. We went to the, we thought what we thought was an interview and it was like kind of conference where they explain all the process that we were going to use to sell the product. At the end, of course, we decided not to, not to, because it was going to be my first job. Imagine I was key, about 18 years old. And the, the thing was to go like that, door to door, selling horchata, cebada, and I don't remember what other drinks, but they were producto la canasta, right? And we said no, because of course it was not like safe for an 18 year old girl being in the neighborhoods knocking doors from, from door to door, right? But uh -huh, that's one way. But in that, in that case, uh, who will sell the product door to door? The, 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 the producer or, he'll, or will he use somebody else to sell the product? Think about something bigger, right? Mm -hmm. So, how you would you another sell? product? Or you can think about in what other ways can you can you sell your product? If if it is handmade, doesn't mean that you have to sell it only door to door. Maybe it could be better if we sell to a retailer. Mm -hmm. If we are a distributor of the product, we are the manufacturer too, and we sell it to the retailers and retailer can sell a, a more big quantify of the product that we can sell uh, by self. But give me real examples, like somebody that you know that produces the candy, who does he use to distribute the product? Mm -hmm. I knew a person who sell eh, sopas magi, condimentos in the market, not in the supermarket, in the market. And she went 
at puesto by puesto. Stand. Offering, excuse me? Stand. Stand by stand, offering a, what she has, like I, like I, like I said, condimentos, sopas. Mm -hmm. That would be like using retailer stores. Mm -hmm. Not a person, but a retailer store. But what stores, where? Because uh -huh, I, I knew also, I knew of a person who was a hairdresser. She made very, very nice blouses. I remember I bought one, but that was like a long time ago. I, I, she made the blouses and the complete suit, like the blouse and the skirt, and, but mostly blouses alone, right? And she sold them to Simon. But she was like, okay, I am the producer and I take my blouses to Simon. But in Simon, it's not like, okay, by here I bring 10 blouses and you pay me the 10 blouses. No, they leave the, I don't know the word they use, but that I leave the product in your place in your store and you take like about a month with the product if you sell it you pay me the moment you sold the product but if some time passes and the product doesn't sell they return me the product right I don't remember how you call that, not even in Spanish but that's how many producers work that they give the product to store and the store sells the product and when they sell it, they pay the producer. But that is like using a retailer store, right? For example, teacher, I remember when, when, when I was young. Mm -hmm. um, a long time ago. I suppose, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Nah, not yeah, so long. No, we uh, work selling yuca, but uh -huh. we buy to the producers directly. We uh, buy, uh, como decir, por manzanas? Apples. No, but not like apples, the fruit, the, the distance. Ah, where some blocks? Let me see. Uh, maybe could be blood, but no. <laughs> no, I don't. That's, that's the word. That's the word. <laughs> Manzanas. Manzanas encantadas. Okay. Vamos a ver in English. Manzana, una manzana. Terreno, ponga. Vamos a ver. <ríe> ah, pues en esta, sí, claro, Google Translation. Ah, vamos a buscar un dictionary. You see, that's why I always tell you, use the dictionary. El Cambridge dice. Those of Cambridge. We are speaking English, 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 Portuguese. <laughs> Manzana in English. Awesome. No dictionary. No. No, que no quiere el diccionario. Fruto del manzano. Ah, va. Around fruit, especially a group of building bounded for street, a block. Block. A block. So, continue with that. We buy maybe four 
or five blocks <laughs> or further. So then we uh, take all the product and ¿Cómo decir? Los embalamos. You roll them with paper. Wait, yeah. we roll them. We roll, we roll them in then we sell them in the well, aquí, aquí se le conoce like uh, uh, mega, pla, mega, mega plus like uh -huh. la tiendona. But we also had a customer that buy maybe uh, a truck full of package and he sold to the super selectors. Uh -huh. And after that, super selectors sell the product directly the, to the customer. Exactly. exactly. So they buy in, in bulk. Yeah. In, in, in this uh, case, are the first ways. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh -huh. You can put that example. Yeah. Put it in a mini presentation and be ready to share. <laughs> you have the idea now. Thanks. I was looking at in March, in March about sailing door by door, but I didn't, I didn't get. Ponga, ponga free. Ajá, pero pongan free pictures para que no me penalice YouTube a mí. Ah, ok, free pictures. Bye, ya les voy a enseñar las que están a ver cuál les gusta. Ok. Ready, teacher. Ahí. Usted está solito. We're finished. No, pues estamos con Víctor y Nubia, pero ya terminamos. Ah, vaya. Ok. O oh, si sí, Víctor es expert. Ah, teacher, no, no, no. Yes, I know, Víctor. <risa> teacher, solo que estamos en los celulares, no hemos podido compartir pantalla, entonces, pero nos quedó así. Ya le digo cómo nos quedó. Nos quedó. Uno, direct channel. Sí. Number two, retail channel. Number three, wholesale channel. Number four, direct channel again. Five, retail channel. And six, wholesale channel. Ajá, pero give me exact examples. ¿Quién examples. Produce, ¿Quién produce, quién vende, quién compra, quién lo hace llegar al público? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Number one. Amazon is the direct channel. Pero, ¿quién? Uh, produce, who's the producer? Amazon produces? No. Who? No dice. Oh. Solo dice Amazon. So Kindless. That's what you're searching. Mm. Producer who's the one that will move the product. Pero Kindles es de Amazon. Mm? Los Kindles son de Amazon. Okay, so Amazon produces the Kindle, then. Mm -hmm. Sí, es un producto de Amazon. No sé si ellos lo producen, pero ellos son los que lo distribuyen, son los dueños de. Okay, okay. They are, they are the owners of, of Kindle. Ikea, they are the retailers because uh, they buy the product from the mm -hmm. uh, okay I have just one observation Adriana Sofia if you tell me that they are the retailers and they buy the product 
to whom? Then they are not the producers. No, they are not the producers. They buy the product to who? the producer. To whom? Who's the producer? Investiguense quién es el que produce Kindles. Kindles, okay. No, Kindles es, es Amazon. Y estamos hablando de los muebles de Ikea. De, oh, ok, ok. Entonces, who produces that? Um, don't especifique. Ikea is a multinational corporation. Ikea no especifica, teacher. Dice, <laughs> buy product from different manufacturers and sell in their, in their store. <laughs> Pero, what products? So, do they... No furniture. Ah, okay. So, they buy furniture. Mm -hmm. Porque allí su product no es Ikea. Su product sería furniture. Uh-huh. Ikea buys product or furniture. From uh -huh. different manufacturers. Excellent. And IKEA sell furniture in their stores to the consumer. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Remember that we were talking about different stages, right? The one where the producer sells directly to the consumer, another one where the producer sells to the retailer, the retailer to the consumer. The other one, where the producer sells to the wholesaler, this one to the retailer, and the retailer to the consumer. And one last, where the producer has an agent. This agent is the one that makes all the logistic, sells the product to the wholesaler, the wholesaler to the re retailer, and the retailer to the consumer, right? So that's that's what you're choosing. You're choosing one of them. And that's, it. but the only thing is that now you are adapting it to a real product. Thank you. Okay. So your product there will be a furniture because that's what is going to be sold. And we have to investigate all of them. Uh -huh. Yes, the product, at least a couple of producers of, of furniture that sell the product to Ikea. Because Ikea will be probably the wholesaler, right? Because I imagine they buy the product in a big quantity. Yeah, maybe. Is that correct? Yes. Because the retailer, remember, the retailer sells a small quantities. Or if you say, uh, well, yeah, but Ikea is going to sell. Well, the wholesaler can sell both, can sell to the retailer or can sell directly to, to, to just one person. So you can have that, that choice. Mm -hmm. I'm a little confused. Uh -huh. We just have to do the exercise six of the page ten, mm -hmm. exactly. or we need to do something else. Number five. number five. That's number five. Information we're number five. We're not in number six. We're number five. 
Remember in number five, we were talking about the distribution channels. I said, yes. oh, think of a product and present the distribution channels of that product. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're not in number okay. six yet. So okay, we're doing the number six. Okay. Yeah. Ah, ya adelantaron, pero no. <laughs> we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're telling me you're, you're presenting a distribution channel adapted to the real world. Okay, I can think in. Uh, I have to think in one country. As Costa del Sol Enterprise. Ajá. Okay, they are so they buy the product from Producto Diana here in El Salvador mm -hmm. and then they sell them to wholesale or distributor uh -huh. and and those distributors and wholesale sell in bulk to retail retailers. Mm -hmm. okay. Then uh, we have four no hotel soul enterprises have four channels I think. Uh -huh. Because uh, yes. Yes. Soul is a wholesale channel and their their cost their clients their customers huh? yeah. are distrib distribu distributors distributor and then there are the retailers or and then our consumers this this enterprise has uh, some brands and some brands are manufactured in their own in their own our plant so that is a producer to cons to consumer and at the same time the producer to to wholesale or distributor mm -hmm. and distributor but the producer, but the producer is another company uh-huh another uh, yes another company another co but at that same that same group hi hi are you ready yes yeah. ready okay perfect Vámonos, pues. let's go 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 one minute Okay, vamos a ver if everybody's back. Oh, 12 seconds, 11 seconds. Mm -hmm. Vaya. A ver. Group number one, Adolfo Rivas, Claudia Guadalupe, Carla Lorena, Pedro Luis Morales. Who will chair? Or all together? Okay. Uh, I think so, that all together, but Pedro. 
is the main okay. speech. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> the distribution channel. For example, as uh, we uh, expose today is uh, the, um, the wholesale channel. Because um, in comics, it's a company who imports technology, technological devices directly from, uh, from manufacturers. manufacturers of manufacturers of brands like uh, HP, Apple, Dell, and more. Uh, they are considered as a wholesaler in El Salvador because they buy product in a bulk and they only can sell to retailers. They can't sell to a final consumer, oh. right? Mm -hmm. They are uh, partners uh, to the, with the brands. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, like Dell, HP, they are partners with them. Okay. Inversion Didacticas is the company and I work and I work and we are uh, considered as a retailer. Uh, uh, the company te sell technological devices to a final consumer. We are, uh, our, uh, we are, uh, Incomex is, a, is our supply? A supplier. A supplier, our supplier. And, and, and we, we, we buy to him them and we uh, sell them to consumer, final consumer. Uh, it's a double relation. Uh -huh. uh, it's considered a retailer uh, in the distribution channel. Uh -huh. Exactly, because you buy to, to the big one, right? To sell one by one, okay? Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Pedro. The, another example yeah. of uh, is uh, and that is not a presentation. Uh, I think uh, uh, we can uh, talk about uh, the direct channel. Mm -hmm. So, so direct channel. Uh -huh. But the direct channel will be then a, like Apple manufacturer product. Uh huh. Because the manufacturer will be Apple, Dell, and HP, right? No, because uh, we, uh, uh, as as um, inversion didacticas, we give to our customers uh, the service of technological support. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have the technician, the the, the agent, technical to technicians. And we 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 give we give our clients all the support, uh, technological support. Mm -hmm. We produce the technological support. The agent we prepare to the agent, the technicians, and we give to our client all the the service. Uh -huh. That service exactly uh -huh. product that service okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That so, is an right. example of direct channel. Exactly. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Group number one. Very good. Let's see group number two. Ana Alicia, Cruz Antonio, Fernando, and Mauricio. Who will chair? Mm -hmm. Ana. Me but, me, but our speaker will be... Mauricio, Fernando. No, oh, the other classmate that we had was... Cruz. Cruz Antonio. Um, 
Cruz Antonio, Fernando. Fernando. Ok. Ok. I, I do the candies in my home. Mm. And then what kind of candies could you ask? Uh, peanut with sweet, with sugar, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I package in little bags and then I go to the streets to sell it directly to the people. Okay. And I was thinking about expand my business, like uh, looking for a retailer, uh, some people who works in the market, who knows, I, I don't know. Yeah. I can, when, where I can sell my product to them uh, in books. Mm -hmm. to that will be will be for me will be better to earn more profits exactly just with a little logistic but with less effort right right okay excellent thank you that was the first one directly uh, retail without retailing right okay thank you fernando peanut the best thing in the world i i think how sad imagine peanut is one of the biggest allergies in the united states peanut so not everybody can consume peanuts and some people can even die if they consume it but peanuts are so delicious right yeah yeah Delicadones, teacher. <laughs> huh? Delicadones. <laughs> but uh, but peanuts uh, during the time of um, of storing, uh -huh. uh, they have they have a a a, a toxic component. Ah, oh, but that's if you eat too much. Oh. Too. Yeah. It's like frijol de soya. If you <laughs> prepare frijol de soya milk and you yeah. too much, you may be get a terrible diarrhea, right? Uh -huh, but, oh, really? Yeah, okay. Almost die. Okay. <laughs> but with the peanut, if you eat too much, you may get a stomachache. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those bags that you see people sell that are like this, right? One dollar. It's not a good idea to eat them in once at once. So you can divide it in two times to eat half first and then the other half. Yeah. But with sugar is mm -hmm. is is better. <laughs> right? Okay. That's right. Yeah. Of peanut butter peanut butter with cookie. It's okay. delicious. Very good, and they give you energy. Okay, let's see number three, David, Saul, and Sulma. There was somebody else there. Who was it, David? I remember you were four. I don't remember. Okay. Who will chair? You, Dave. Uh, the share the Sulma. Okay, Sulma. Okay, yes. Okay, teacher. In our group, we discuss the three examples. Two examples in the retail area and one in the directional area. Okay. In this case, the first example is the producer the sello de oro is the channel is a retail and on the supermarket super, super selectos and the super selectos is the distribution on the customer direct mm -hmm. the, the second example is the rosera the channel is retail for the supermarket is a retail store and the retail store and the supermarket 
and the customer direct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the third example is the services bank, is the channel direct, because the service bank is the customer, the service. Uh -huh. Bank services are directly to the consumer, right? Yes. Yes. Perfect. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And number four. Hi. Only two from number four. Adriana, Sofia, and Nubia. Victor disappeared. Victor. Okay, teacher. I'm going to share. Oh, Victor. Okay. What happened? You. That. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Stand up, Victor, here. Okay. Bye, Victor. We are all ears. Go ahead. Okay. I'm washing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you watching, teacher? And then, plus my. Yes, yes, we can see it. Okay. Um, the company is CBI. The company is CBI. I am showing with a laser. Uh -huh. uh, CBI buy involves to the producer, in this case, Diana. Um, CBI is gonna be the wholesaler because it's buying involves to sell to retailers. Retail in USA like 7-Eleven and uh, Super Value. The, the this is these are um, supermarket chain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, the customer, the consumer buy in this in these stores, 7-Eleven uh, and Super Value. And what products they they can buy? CBI sells in USA iconic brand from uh, America Central, like Diana. For example, Diana is an um, iconic brand from Central America. And other, other for example, is um, this beverage, soda is like cola champagne in El Salvador, but in USA is called tropic champagne. Mm -hmm. um, from Honduras, there, there is a beverage called a bananina with a little flavor of banana. So this is the, this is the, the wholesale channel that CBI use to sells the, their product to the customer. CBI don't sell directly to the to the customer. It's it use retailer like and super value. Okay. And others other other supermarket that is only an example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Cool. Okay. Nice nice. So if you are Salvadorian, well, we are Salvadorian, right? If you yes. go to the United States and you are like, you feel like no, no task, nostalgic about eating something from El Salvador, you know what brand to look for, right? Because it is very sad when you are in the United States and you want to eat from a, something from El Salvador. I remember... I went on a scholarship about um, nine years ago, and I was looking for beans. Yo soy frijolera y media. So I was looking for beans, and there were no beans around. But oh. red bean or black bean? I love beans anytime. Really? I, okay. Beans are beans. In and our country, there are many species of beans. Guatemala black beans, right? For example, people, yeah. people from Aguachapan, they prefer black beans. I have an aunt in Aguachapan. Yes. And with hair, I learned to eat black beans. 
Because, okay. Uh, when we go visit her, she always serves black beans, no red beans. Okay. That and monkey and mo monkey beans. Monty. Monkey. Monkey. Mono. Mono. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are delicious. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Good. The, and the white. Beans. White too. More difficult to cook, but delicious to eat. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I never learned to prepare. It is is with another preparation, right? Yeah, it's different. If you, if you ever you ever eat like with meat? No, but they put I don't know what they put to to those beans. So the the soup is different. My mom used to prepare them, but I just used to eat them. I never learned to prepare them. So if, if somebody prepares them, I eat them. But yeah, it's optional. My mom never put the meal, never put the meat. Uh, because of the, or we ate the meat or we ate the beans, but not the two things together, right? There was no <laughs> for the two things. Uh, well, no. Okay. <laughs> so, but, but we used to eat them kind of often, at least once a month, because she used yeah. to like them a lot. Mm -hmm. White things. But I will ask my sister to prepare them. She knows how to do them. I didn't learn. I never learned. I never <laughs> okay. I just eat them. <laughs> I can eat them, but not prepare. It's the better options. Yeah, the best. Okay, well, nice. Let's go back. We were here, right? Now, we have this part. We're going to, we have some examples here, right? What you're going to do here is categorize the examples according to the channels presented. I no. Presented here, direct channel, retail channel, or wholesale channel. Remember the wholesale channel includes producer, wholesale or distributor, retailer, consumer, right? So what you're going to do is categorize the examples according to the channels that we just saw in the chart. And then we will check them together, right? You have. Amazon sells Kindles to its customers through its own platform. So what type of channel is used there? I think there is a, is direct channel. Mm -hmm. That would be direct channel, yes. Okay. Direct, we will put the feed. IKEA buys products from different manufacturers and sell them in their stores. Retail. Uh -huh, that would be this one, right? Retail channel. We're going to put RC. Awesome Grocers supplies a line of independent grocery stores with, with purchases. With purchases in bulk. What is awesome? Uh, distributor. Uh huh. It's a distributor, right? Supplies a line of independent grocery stores. So, like the ones that Victor was mentioning, 7 Eleven. What was the other one, Victor? Or like here, imagine that they came to uh, City. Uh -huh, to the stores that you have in the gas station, right? To the mini supermarkets around. So awesome grocery supplies, a line of independent grocery stores with purchases in bulk. So the grocery stores buy in bulk to awesome. So what channel is this? Mm -hmm. 
What channel? Whole, okay. Wholesale. That's a wholesale? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's a wholesale channel. And what about Dell, number four? Dell Computers sells through its online platform or call center. Mm -hmm. Producer. Which one? Producer. Uh -huh. But what is the channel? Direct channel. Direct channel, exactly. This Direct channel, so I think so. Uh -huh. Exactly. That is direct channel because uh, we're talking about deal like the producer, and then they are using their own platform, right, or call center. So they are not using anybody else. Now, the gap buys clothes from other manufacturers to sell in their stores. What channel of distribution is it? Um, retail. Uh huh. Retails? For me, retail. Yeah, retail channel. Okay. Wow. Retail. Because yeah. the. Because what is that? the. Gap is a store. It's not. It's not that factory, direct. right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Gap too is a brand. Uh huh. It's a brand, but in yeah. this case, they buy clothes from other it, it, manufacturers. Yeah. Right. So we have the producer. Then Gap is the retailer. And Gap sells the pro buys the product to the manufacturer to sell it in the stores. So you go for retailer, right? Retailer channel. What about number six? Better grocery supplies a line of the independent grocery store with purchasable wholesale. Mm -hmm. Wholesale. Yeah, because Better Grocers is a distributor, right? And then you have the line of in, the independent grocery stores will be the retailers that take the product to the producers. So yes, this will be a, a wholesale. Okay, very good. Any questions here? Mm -hmm. No questions? No question. Okay, now we go to the final question. Um, which channel is more effective? Is it a good idea to combine channels to get better results? What do you think? I'm going to give you a five minute discussion and then I bring you back. Okay, ah, but copy the questions, right? Copy the questions. Which channel is more effective of the ones that we were mentioning? Direct channel, retail channel, wholesale channel. Which channel is more effective? And then is it a good idea to combine channels? Get a better result? What do you think? Ready? Can you show the the chart? I'm sharing. Ah, the chart. This. One. Yeah, please. Okay, this is the chart. Thank you. Ah, yeah. Ready? Okay. Ready, ready. I'm going to send you five minute discussion and then I take you out. Oh, just reminding you, uh, in the one on one today is staying Adriana Maria. 
Vaya, recuerden, todos los días se va a quedar uno conmigo. Vamos en orden de clase. Por ejemplo, ayer le tocaba a Adolfo y escapó Adolfo. So, Oops, sorry. Va a en la clase 23, Adolfo, ahí se acuerda. Adriana okay. María, today, tomorrow. Adriana María no está. Ah, pues si quiere se queda hoy, Adolfo, así ya no está en deuda conmigo. Yeah, of course. Perfect. And on Thursday, because tomorrow no classes, remember, on Thursday we will have uh, Adriana María y nos vamos a correr, Sofi. Hoy. So let's see if Adriana María is okay. there on Thursday, she will stay. And then Sofi on Friday, Ana Monday. No soy la mujer perfecta para él. Ok, así vamos a ir. Vamos a ir un día, un día uh -huh. corridito hoy. Ana Monday, Brenda Tuesday, eh, Claudia on Wednesday, Cruz on Thursday, and David next Friday. Ok, ahí tenemos la primera semana. To start. Ok, well, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I'm going to remake the groups. And there we go. This uh -huh. was the two questions. And I call you in four. Join, join. Check, check if you can see the group and join. Mm -hmm. O sea, no lo veo doble. Well, the questions um, is this question and answer with class. Which channel is more effective? And the other is, is it a good idea to combine channels to get better results? What do you think? I think that it depends on the products that I um selling because sometimes the the better channel is a direct channel and sometimes eh, it's better to have a distributors so yeah. i think that it depends of the products that i'm selling yeah right because uh, if the product is a uh, um How do you say no perecedero? Uh, or mm -hmm. you can produce. You can decide which which is better. Yeah. Uh, I think the if uh, if you a producer, you need the distribution to the, the, the product the product for the all people then you are the distribution direct is more complicated because you have a uh, many many clients many okay. customers okay i think this is my comment And I have seen in some company, um, you can combine, but you can combine some channel, but the best channel is the direct channel. Why? Because in the direct channel, the producer get the 7% of the gain. 
in the other channel, retail channel, wholesale channel, the producer have to share the gain. The gain is, is teacher? The profit. Profit. Have to share the profit with the retailer and with the wholesaler or distributor. Mm -hmm. So the margin of profit is, re is reduced to the producer. That is that is the advantage. That's disadvantage. So the best the best channel is the produce that is channel to consumer. But sometimes the level of sales is is not is not enough. It's not enough. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is where the profit is in the quantity that they sell if they use another channel of distribution. Yes. Oh, what else? Only that. Right. You have to go there. You have to ask the baker, uh, bread, uh, breakfast, lunch, whatever. And you have to consume or you can get a product to and go to the home yeah but it is a good it's a good example for for a direct channel right <coughs> bless. bless you thank you eh eh adolfo yeah what did you say <laughs> wow. tell me <laughs> uh, Adolfo, I I hear that you name the coffee shop uh, Bam Bam. Yeah. You are from Santana, right? Uh, me? No. Uh -huh. No. I am because... from. Uh, I I was born. Uh, you are from Santana. Yes. Ah, really? Yes. Two In times. The... Two times perfect. Cabal. Eh, solo que <risa> yo había escuchado que Bam Bam solo en Santana. No. Había... No. Eh, there is a there is a Bam Bam bakery in in Apopa near from the border of Nejapa in Mall San Gabriel. Metro. And, bueno. and there are in Samundo Ahí. Apopa too. Ajá. In Metro Centro, Mall. In Metro Centro, uh, anywhere. <laughs> in Susanate, we have two stores. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. Bam Bam y Bom Bom. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, we have the, the two stores. They have, they have gone farther from Santana. Mm -hmm. But the strong, uh, the, the, how do you say, uh, quiero ver, Casa Matriz? Um, the principal uh, store? Headquarter? The headquarter? No. Exactly, the headquarter. The main factory. No, the that's main the factory main is factory. in the headquarter. In Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. Those are branches. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like it's like Tecleña. Tecleña is only one here in in Santa Ana. Where is La Tecleña from? La Libertad. Yeah, uh, from Santa Tecla. Uh huh. <laughs> but um, there are so many. There are a lot of a lot of store. Uh, this baker of this bakery in around the the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In San Miguel, in Apopa, San Salvador. In Sonsonate too. Where is El Rosario from? Uh, El Rosario, Rosario's Bakery is from Guatemala. Ah, really? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's good. Yeah. I didn't know. I it's, ba it's based in the, in the old, old, neighborhood of the center of the capital in antigua no in the guatemala capital 
Oh, Guatemala, Guatemala. Yes, believe it or not, it's from Guatemala. Ay. San Martín, San Martín too. San Martín. San Martín is from Guatemala. Wow. Y pollo campero too. Eh, Guatemala. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But Rosario has a good, has a, Rosario has a good marketing. Yes. Every, well, yeah. now I haven't seen that, but before, every time they got a new type of bread, they drop the campaign for everybody to, okay, name this one. And people were inventing the name of the new bread that they were inventing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Today I bought one that they say carcañal. <laughs> what? Carcañal. The, the, really? Yeah, carcañal. I, I guess that's what they told me, but for me that was... It's, it's, it's not a good name. No. Because it was like the form of the carcañal, it was like this panzoncito, right? With milk, <laughs> with polyacre. Yeah. Uh -huh. With milk. With milk inside, with poliada. Inside. Milk and a starch. Milk, milk and a starch because uh -huh. yeah. it's, it's, more, it's more cheap. It's cheaper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that was good. Mm -hmm. Bueno, let's go. Let's go. I guess you're ready, right? Yes. Nice. Okay, nice, nice. Now everybody comes running. <laughs> it's time to go, teacher. Let's run. Nice, nice, nice. So we had two questions. Just a quick, a quick look. Which channel is more effective, according to you, to your discussion? Which it's, channel? It depends on the situation of the company. Okay. If they are, uh, if they are beginning, a small, yes. Uh huh. If they are beginning, uh, is is. Uh, Direct channel? Direct channel, yes. Okay. okay. Is it a good idea to combine channels to get better results? What do you think? I think that, that it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like because that. you can you can sell it directly and you can find some people to sell your product instead of you. Exactly. And like that, you can take more time for producing, right? If somebody else is selling your product. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Well, tell me present. Um, Adolfo Rivas. Present. Adriana Maria. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Anna. Present teacher. And a Brenda Alexandra. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia. Present teacher. Cruz Antonio. Cruz. Cruz, Cruz. No. David Alexandra. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. José Alberto. Jose Alberto, hello. No, Jose Alberto. No. Jose Alfredo. No. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present. Kevin Adonai. Kevin, Kevin. Kevin. 
No. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mauricio Emilio. Good night. Good night. Nubia. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Pedro. Saul present. Edna. Present. Okay. Saul present. Edna. Present. Vic, eh, Zulma. Present. Victor. Present. Fernando. Present. Rosy. No, here, Rosy. Okay. Bueno, remember tomorrow. Tomorrow is a day off. Right? Tomorrow is a day off. Tomorrow is a day off. So you will be sleeping at this time of the night tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, enjoy. I don't know if you will go visit your family to the cemeteries or if you will stay home, but that's a, a day off that we have for tomorrow. See you Thursday, okay? See you okay. Thursday, but we have to, to talk, right? We have, yeah, you stay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All the others can leave that you stay. Bye-bye. Okay. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, Good night. Bye, Bye. everybody. Good night. Good night. See you, see you. Good night and thanks for the class, teacher. Okay, you're welcome, Fernando. Okay, Adolfo. Do you have any? Let me teacher. Do you have any comments, any questions? Uh, for me, it's a, let me see, it's a different experience comparing okay. to the last course, okay. but both are very effective um, because now we are, we are uh, using the, the guidelines uh, the book and is is a little different, but it's more effective for me. Okay. And and I think so that I understand uh, the most of your conversation. I I can I can get it. Okay. Yeah. And that's the idea, right? That you feel comfortable and that you be willing to share and to talk mm -hmm. to others. Because in that moment when you express yourself and you share with the others is when we learn the most. Yeah. So that's very important. If any time you have questions, don't doubt to ask, okay? Okay, thank you. We are combining, uh, for example, in this unit, we have started with vocabulary, right? Yeah. Vocabulary game, familiarize with the topic of uh, the distribution channels, but there is a moment when we go to grammar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we. I, I need to. I need to to practice the grammar. Okay. Yeah. So we will be moving from vocabulary to grammar and moving to talking and everything. Uh, but that's why I say, if you feel that the topic is difficult. Don't feel uncomfortable about asking, right? So ask. That's that's something that I always ask my students. Ask because yeah. that's the only way that I can help you. When you say, "Teacher," mm, I, of course, <laughs> yeah, I do not understand because some sometimes it can be something very simple. You won't believe it that it's very complicated. That sometimes the easy topics are the difficult for the students. And the ones that we say, this is very complicated, they catch it quickly, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So that's why it depends on each of you. So if you have any question about any topic, ask, right? Ask, yeah. and we can, we can check it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if you have any other question. 
Not for me, uh, only just to say thank you. Okay. And sorry, yesterday I, I, I have heard, listen, and I got out suddenly or quickly. Yeah, I remember I said, uh, those for you staying. <laughs> and, at, yeah. and at 10 o'clock, you say, goodbye, goodbye, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That, it, that is like just once in the course that you're staying, especially that you're 22, right? So we have time, no problem to run one day. Yeah. yeah. So we can start today with you and we run number two to the third day and we go like that. Okay, thank you. That's perfect. Well, have a great night. Rest tomorrow. You're not working, right? No, um, I think so that I am going to to Obrajuelo, Chalatenango. Okay, huh. are you yeah. from Chalatenango? No, I am, I am, from, I am not from Chalatenango. Uh, my girlfriend is from Chalatenango. Okay. Yeah. My parents both were from Chalatenango. Oh, really? Yeah. My mom was from La Reina. La Reina? Yes. And my father. I have been there. I have been there. And my father was from El Pepeto. El Pepeto. Pepeto is, I don't know if you know the river. I don't know the name of the river. If you know the river that is in La Reina. Ah, uh, okay. When you go for- The Lempa River? No, it's a, it's a small river that is at the end. So you're in the center of, of La Reina in the town, right? Oh, okay. And you go walking, you get directly- In the rural, in the, in the rural area. Uh-huh, going, well, but you're in the center of La Reina, right? La Reina is not very big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You go walking like if you're looking for the cemetery. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Going in that direction, there is a, a part where you can go directly to the river. And there El Pepeto is going from the river, going up, 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 mm. for okay. three hours and a half. <laughs> really? So tired. Walking. Yeah. Of I course. Went, I went only once, but that was that was fun. Okay, yeah. Okay. Chalatenango is uh has a nice place. Yes. Yeah. I remember eating a lot of aceitunas. Ah, oh, these are, yeah. are delicious. Purple or white? Black ones. Black so ones, yeah. All the mouth was yeah, like a parrot. Yes. <laughs> okay. But they were delicious. Mm, yes, of course. Exactly. During the Holy Week. Yeah. Uh -huh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's a very good way, a, a very good place for walking. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, of course, I walked those three hours and a half, like ooh, about 27, 28 years ago. No, oh, really. Okay. You have to come back there go back and take the, the, the walk again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, well, enjoy your trip then and see you Thursday. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Have a nice trip. Thank you. You too.